In this video, I'm going to show you how to add accents in Microsoft Word. There are quite a few ways we can do this. We can do it with shortcut keys, or we can do it via Word's ribbon. Before we move on to those methods, it's worth pointing out that in a lot of cases, Word will automatically add an accent to a word. For example, if I type cafe in here, you can see that it automatically adds the acute accent to the E. However, if I type something like papier mache, then I don't get any accents. What I would need is a circumflex accent above the A and an acute accent above the E. So let's start to look at the ways in which we can do this. The first method is to use control or control shift shortcuts. I'm going to start with my papier mache example. Now the A needs the circumflex accent above it. And you can see up here to get the circumflex accent, it's control shift and the caret character, which is on the same key as six on your main keyboard. Then it's the letter. So control shift caret and then the letter. Now I'm going to bring up my keyboard on the screen so you can see what I'm doing. To get the circumflex character above the A is Control Shift Carrot or six, and then the A. So C H, and then I want an acute accent above the E. So I can see up here that's Control Apostrophe and then the letter. So Control Apostrophe and then an E. Let's move on to the next method. This method uses numeric codes to enter a letter and accent combination. You can see all the codes here. The ones we're going to be using are 130 and 131. But there's quite a few codes here for the different combinations that you might need. Now again, I'll show my keyboard and I'm going to type papier mache again. We scroll up a little bit, we can see that A with the circumflex accent above it is code 131. Now to use these numeric codes, you have to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and use the numeric keypad. So I'm holding down Alt and then it's 131 on my numeric keyboard. Let go of Alt and I get the letter accent combination. CH Next, I want an E with an acute accent above it. So that's Alt 130. Let go of Alt. I get the letter and accent combination. Okay, let's move on to the next method. The autocorrect method is useful if you often type out a word that needs accents. The way this works is that you type out the word without accents, but then when you add a space at the end of the word, Word automatically adds the accents for you. Let's see how this works. So you've got to start off with an example of the word with the accents. Select the word, then go to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options. You can see that it's automatically placed your word with the accents in the with box. Now, unless you want the formatting to also be applied to your word, for example, font size, you want to select plain text. Then if it adds a little star at the end of the word, get rid of that. In the replace with box, just type in the word without the accents. Then click on add, then click on okay. Then click on okay again. So let's see if this works. Papier mache. If I press space at the end of the word, it automatically applies the accents for me. The final method we're going to look at uses the insert symbol functionality in Microsoft Word. We try this with papier mache as well. Then I'd go to the insert tab on my ribbon. I'd go over to the symbol button and then more symbols. In the font drop down, choose normal text. And in the subset, you want to choose one of these Latin subsets. Now I'm going to choose Latin one supplement. 
and that will give me my A with a circumflex above it. You can see it there. So I select that letter accent combination, click on insert, and you see it appears in my text. And keep this simple dialog box open while I write the rest of the text in my Word document. So the next character is an E with an acute accent above it. And you can see that character there. And I click on insert and then close. So this method has the advantage of not having to remember any shortcut keys. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video.